Welcome to Millbrook and the Trevor Zoo. I'm Jamie Cadis, a fifth former or junior here at Millbrook, and I want to welcome you to this episode of Live from the Trevor Zoo. It's great to be here today. This is my second year at Millbrook, and the main reason I decided to go to school here is because of the zoo. I love animals, I always have. I've fostered dozens of dogs and cats, and I worked at my local nature center when I was younger. This year, I became a student curator at the zoo, and that means that during our community service periods, I help guide all of the younger zooies and show them all the things we do here to take care of the animals. We have about 70 different students that come down to the zoo at different times throughout the week. Really, you could say that most boarding schools are pretty much the same, but what makes Millbrook special is that we are the only high school in the country that has a zoo. We also have Gus the Galago, and that's a real plus. Today, we're talking about one of the smallest animals here at the Trevor Zoo, but also one of my favorites, the chinchillas. We've had chinchillas in our collection at the Trevor Zoo since the early 90s. Today, the zoo currently has seven chinchillas. Sally and Charlie are our females, and Waffles, Cookies, Cream, Teddy, and Graham are our males. Waffles is our oldest chinchilla, born at the Trevor Zoo in 2009. Sally was also born at the Trevor Zoo in 2016, and is Waffles' niece. Charlie came to us in 2021. She and Waffles had their first litter in June of 2022, who are Cookies and Cream. They had a second litter in June of 2023, and those boys are named Teddy and Graham. Sally lives on exhibit and can often be seen on a high perch in her outdoor hutch. The other chinchillas live off exhibit, but come to see visitors during our ambassador animal programming. So at birthday parties and when school groups visit the zoo. Our chinchillas are fed once per day. Their main diet consists of standard chinchilla pellets, which contain all the nutrients they require. We also offer them a variety of fruits and vegetables, dandelion greens, and offer them free choice access to hay. As treats, we also offer them in small quantities, oatmeal, a variety of cereals, and commercially available chinchilla treats. As chinchillas are herbivores, they do tend to poop a lot, so their habitats need to be cleaned regularly. It's important that they have a calm, quiet place to live and are not subject to extreme high temperatures. They also need regular access to dust baths so that they can keep themselves clean. We also provide our chinchillas with a variety of goal-based enrichment that elicit natural behaviors. Chinchillas are rodents native to the Andes Mountains in South America. These crepuscular rodents are slightly larger than ground squirrels. They live in colonies called herds at high elevations of up to 14,000 feet above sea level. Historically, chinchillas lived in an area that included parts of Bolivia, Peru, and Chile. But today, colonies in the wilds are only known in Chile. Along with their relatives, viscaches, they also make up the family chinchillidae. They also are related to a chinchilla rat, which we need one. FYI. The chinchilla has the densest fur of all mammals that live on land. Their bodies are covered in 20,000 hairs, with 50 hairs growing from each follicle. By comparison, humans only have one hair for each follicle. The only animal with a denser coat is the sea otter, which lives in water. The chinchilla is named after the Chincha people of the Andes, who once wore its dense, velvet-like fur. By the end of the 19th century, chinchillas had become quite rare after being hunted for their ultra-soft fur. Farm-raised chinchillas are still used for their fur by the fur industry for clothing and other accessories. The two living subspecies of chinchilla are the short-tailed chinchilla, chinchilla chinchilla, and the long-tailed chinchilla, chinchilla langara. The short-tailed chinchillas have thicker necks and shoulders and shorter ears. The long-tailed chinchilla is more common in the wilds as the short-tailed chinchilla has been hunted nearly to extinction. The domestic chinchilla is descended from the long-tailed chinchilla and have thinner bodies, long tails, and large ears. Both subspecies of chinchilla are currently listed as endangered by the IUCN due to a 90% global population loss over the last 15 years. This severe population decline has been caused by humans hunting chinchillas in the wild. The chinchilla fur trade goes back to the 16th century. Their fur is popular due to its extremely soft feel, which is a result of their extremely dense fur. Also, the color is usually very even, which made it ideal for small garments or the lining of larger ones. A single full-length coat made from chinchilla fur would require as many as 150 pelts. Though it's illegal to hunt wild chinchillas, they are now, they are now on the verge of becoming extinct because of continued poaching. In their native habitats, chinchillas live in burrows or crevices in rocks. They're agile jumpers and can jump up to six feet. Predators in the wild include birds of prey, skunks, felines, snakes, and canines. 
Chinchillas have a variety of defensive tactics, including spraying urine and releasing fur if bitten. In the wild, chinchillas have been observed eating plant leaves, fruits, seeds, and small insects. The average lifespan of a wild chinchilla is 10 years. Under human care, they can live up to 20 years. Currently, our oldest chinchilla, Waffles, is 15. He's one year younger than me. In nature, chinchillas live in social groups that resemble colonies, but are properly called herds. herds herd sizes can range from 14 members to up to 100. This is both for social interaction as well as protection from predators. Chinchillas reach sexual maturity at eight months. They can breed any time of the year, though breeding season typically falls between May and November. They are typically monogamous. Their gestation period is 111 days, longer than most rodents. Due to this long pregnancy, chinchillas are born fully furred with eyes open, and litters are usually small in number with two babies born. Fortunately for chinchillas, the AZA, Association of Zoos and Aquariums, has established a safe, saving animals from extinction, program for the species. And we here at the Trevor Zoo are participating in this program, along with about a dozen other AZA zoos. Safe Chinchilla utilizes the collective experience and resources of AZA members to support the recovery and conservation of chinchillas in the wild. This is being accomplished by field work in Chile, raising awareness of the plights of chinchillas and educating the public. Safe Chinchilla uses camera traps, biological sample collection, and community interviews to establish the presence, distribution, and range of remaining short and long-tailed chinchillas in Chile. The information is used to inform the protection and conservation of chinchillas and their habitat. Safe Chinchilla is also providing educational resources and programming to build species understanding, foster empathy, and promote behaviors to support chinchilla conservation. Chinchillas are popular pets, though they require extensive exercise and dental care due to their teeth continually growing throughout their life. Since they lack the ability to sweat, they require a temperature-controlled environment. The animals instinctively clean their fur by taking dust baths, in which they roll around in a special dust made of fine pumice a few times a week. They don't bathe in water, and their thick fur resists parasites such as fleas. Let's have a look at Waffles getting a dust bath with our Director of Programs, Jessica Bennett. Ms. Bennett, take it away. So they, um, they roll around in the dust, and in the wild they would be living near a lot of volcanic ash, so they would have that, that available. In captivity, we have this dust here in a dust bath, and we're going to see if Waffles wants to roll around and clean off. What I'm doing while I'm petting him is I'm giving him a little massage, but I'm also taking all the oils that were on my hands, because that's a natural part of our, our body. You guys all have oils on your hands, and I'm putting them on him so that he is going to take that off when he takes a bath. Um, so here, we're going to go see how he does. I'm going to fix that, see, that dust there. All right, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, he goes right in. And you'll see he's probably, he likes to get his face first. Oh, look, he's rolling around. Oh, it never gets old. It's always so funny when he rolls around. Because can do you guys do that when you take a bath? Do you roll around in the tub? Responsible pet owners need to ensure their chinchillas will have a stable space to live, where they have a temperature-controlled environment and easy access to food, browse, or toys to chew on, water, and hiding places. They also need to be allowed to sleep undisturbed for extended periods of time. Chinchillas can be highly social creatures, so owners should interact with their pets at regular times each day. They also have sensitive hearing and are easily startled by loud, unexpected noises. Remember that a pet chinchilla, chinchilla can live well beyond the 10 years of a wild chinchilla, so be prepared to welcome this pet into your home for the duration of its life. Habitat change from mining and infrastructure development is the current primary threat to chinchillas remaining in the wild. Chinchilla populations have yet to recover from overcollection by the fur industry and pet trade. But there are a number of things you can do in your daily life to help chinchillas in the wild. Recycle your batteries and recycle old jewelry. Less battery production and less need for precious metals means less mining in the chinchilla's native habitat. If we can stabilize these areas now, we may be able to help growth in the wild population of chinchillas in the future. You can also say no to unnecessary technology upgrades. Do you really need the latest phone or computer, or can the one you have last a little bit longer? 
And you can also help chinchillas in the wild by supporting programs like the AZA Safe Chinchilla Program and by supporting your local zoo. This week and weekend, the Trevor Zoo will be celebrating our chinchillas and raising money for their conservation programs. So please, come visit. If you've enjoyed this episode, I'd like to remind you that you can view all previous episodes of Live from the Trevor Zoo on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Trevor Zoo Millbrook. And you can also watch our streaming cameras throughout the zoo 24 hours a day at www.millbrook.org forward slash Trevor Zoo Live. Thanks for spending part of your day with us, and if you're in the area, please come visit us in person. It's easy to make a reservation on our website, which is www.trevorzoo.org, and we are open every day of the year from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll be back here, live from the Trevor Zoo, soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.